So let's bring you through the last couple of months. This is the drought monitor map as of January, uh, early January. So we started off this year with a good chunk of Colorado under severe drought, uh, about 80% and a lot more of it under extreme and exceptional drought. We had some good early season, uh, I guess late snow season storms and then early spring storms that uh, by early May really helped our drought a lot. We started to eradicate the drought in northern Colorado, but here still across southern Colorado by early May, uh, we were still under moderate and severe droughts with a few extreme drought locations sprinkled in and I do want to draw your attention out to the west uh, still by early May really really struggling with extreme and exceptional drought fast forward to today when the newest drought monitor map was updated and look at this we've pretty much eradicated all of the drought on the eastern plains the front range foothills and the front range mountains also uh, not seeing any drought conditions so hey claps to mother nature for helping us out here and uh, really getting rid of our drought on the eastern side of the state obviously the western side of the state uh, from Crested Butte to Glenwood to Steamboat still under severe extreme and exceptional drought. They just haven't been benefiting from any of the moisture that the uh, eastern side of the state has been seeing. But nonetheless, uh, at least the I-25 corridor is in a good spot as we head into the hotter and drier summer months. And boy, is it hot outside right now, uh, only compared to what we have been working with. 76 degrees, actually an extremely comfortable temperature 